Hi, I'm Keely from Proportunities. This is our five bedroom HMO that is literally finished, 99.9% .9 finished. And I'd like to show you around before we furnish it. Come on in. So the history of this property, way back when, when it was built, was actually a shop. So I don't know if you actually get to appreciate it, but the walls aren't quite straight. Um, there's been a lot of planning in this house in order to, um, I guess, have the right space and the right dimensions. But we have quite a big uh, entrance lobby area here. This used to be the living room. Um, so after a shop, it was converted into a house, a home. And um, this used to be the living area, but we've converted this into bedroom one. So the size of this room is very big, it's huge. Um, as you can imagine, it, it was used as a living room. What we've done with all of our rooms and our properties is design it with the end in mind. And that's been a learning through the years of, uh, of converting houses into HMOs. That we plan out the space for where the furniture is first. So you'll see here the sockets on either side uh, means that it will be just above the uh, bedside tables and at a height that is suitable as well. So we always think about the functionality um, and the TV is directly there. And that's been a learning over time and we've actually employed a professional to help us with that. Um, and then he also works through with the builders to help us, um, you know, to ensure the design um, is realised uh, at build stage as well. So this room is fantastic, it's the front room, super high ceilings, um, fantastically spacious rooms. And I'll show you into bedroom two now as well. So this was actually an extension of the shop, but it existed uh, when we bought it as a home uh, from the previous owner, but it was all open plan. The stairs was much more like this, but we decided to build um, a cupboard here that houses the water tanks. Imagine with five showers, with the sinks and with the kitchen, a boiler, a residential boiler wasn't enough. So we've actually um, have a water tank in here and because the space is quite big, we're also going to put a dryer in there as well. So a nice compact space for it and it's perfect under the stairs. Um, and this is all fire boarded as well to make sure that the escape route is safe for the tenants. But this was all open plan and you can imagine this was actually the dining room, but now it is our bedroom too. Way back when, as the shop was extended, the extensions weren't necessarily straight. So that caused us some challenges designing the walls. And this room, there are some unusually angled walls. So this room fans out a little bit like this. But actually, we knew that when we were designing it, and so the bed will come out here, and really the tenant won't even notice it that much. The TV point is directly um, across from the bed will provide the TVs as well. Um, so each of these rooms will have double beds, TV, um, a wardrobe, a desk, and some rooms will even fit a chest of drawers. So plenty of storage um, for all the tenants. You'll notice that these two rooms don't have a bathroom. What we've done is actually given them a bathroom upstairs or a shower room upstairs. So even though it's not ensuite, they will have their own dedicated bathroom. So this is the kitchen, this is the new kitchen. Uh, so it's actually quite unusual that we get to have a kitchen so bright on both sides. They have the work surfaces as well. Um, but yeah, we have streaming light from the windows on both sides. Um, a lot of storage space, cupboard space. This is actually where we hit the old boiler as well. It was in, um, still in good use, so we didn't need to change it. Um, but we placed the door. This goes out into a very compact um, back garden space. But yeah, the size of the kitchen um, is 
is fantastic for five people. We definitely have uh, smaller kitchens for five people um, in previous properties. And if you just also um, into this room, this used to be a utility room, um, which is a huge utility room. And what we're doing here is actually converting this into a living area. So sofas here, the TV there, we'll put a little dining table there as well. Um, that's suitable for, you know, two, three people. But I don't think with a shared house, anyone it will be used as five people at any one time. So enough space for them to have their own privacy and to have their meals here as well. Now we're up at the top level where there's three bedrooms and an additional two bathrooms. That's downstairs, two bedrooms. So come on through, we'll look at bedroom three. What we did with this bedroom, uh, it was huge. It was such a big bedroom. Um, it didn't really need the space. And so what we've done is put both on suite in this bedroom. So half of this space, this is the ensuite for this room, and over here is actually the ensuite for bedroom four next door. But you can still see how big this bedroom is. So it's actually a slightly unusual shape. It's a bit of an L shape, but the bonus of this room is actually having two windows with lots of lighting and actually you can have a, a breeze through as well. The bed will go over here, There'll be a TV there. Uh, we're a bit spoiled for choice with where we locate things. The desk will be here to look out the window and we'll put uh, a wardrobe either here or on this side as well. So a very uh, big double bedroom. Bedroom three. And this is our ensuite suite as well. So what I love about the ensuite is the huge shower, a premium sized shower. Um, so a great space for our tenants. And on to bedroom four. Uh, this again, oh, we're very spoiled with the size of the bedrooms here. And you can see replicates very similar to bedroom two downstairs but we have the ensuite here which we took the room uh, a bit of room for bedroom three so again the bed will be on this side and we'll be looking at putting the TV here and the desk in this uh, little space here that will fit perfectly with the chimney breast Features of our ensuite is the rain shower head, um, which is lovely. Our builder managed to get a fantastic price for it. Um, so yeah, it's one of those premium features of our ensuite. So this space here, literally up until the next room, was the family bathroom. It was huge. It had a shower and a, a separate bath as well. So looking at this space, we actually decided to split it to create two shower rooms for the bedrooms downstairs. Um, and if you have a look, you can see how big it is still. So what you're seeing is just one half. but again it's just a shower room so I'll just show you the last room of the house. This is bedroom five. Um, one of the, well this is definitely the smallest room of the house and definitely one of the ones that uh, was quite challenging. 
because it was so small, but we definitely wanted it to have its own ensuite. So we managed to fit an ensuite here, but the rooms are on the most of an angle in this room. So what we've had to do was just box off this wall to create a neat 90 degree angle for the bed to sit here. Otherwise, the bed would have actually been slightly on an angle which would have hindered the door for the ensuite. So by creatively putting a box, box in here, we've created the fantastic right angle where the bed would fit neatly here and then the ensuite door would open properly and we have a very good size ensuite for a smaller room. So even though it's a smaller room, it's probably one of the bigger showers and it's a very good size ensuite. So that's the end of our tour. We're really excited. This has been a project that has many challenges, not only because of the shape of it, but also because of the timing of the build. Uh, our builders are fantastic. They were a family team, so they were able to continue working on the renovations through all the lockdown restrictions as well. So we're thrilled with the results. Uh, we're happy to show you at, at this stage, and quite shortly we'll be able to show you what it looks like with um, furniture as well. If you're interested in investing with us on projects like this uh, or any other projects, please do feel free to contact us either on email or give us a call. Thank you very much.